Hey guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today we're going to be looking at the 1985 Royal Australian Mint set. Now uh, this is quite a special set and I reckon that uh, if uh, even if you don't have each and every year, um, this one is well worth uh, getting a hold of. So I paid somewhere around the $30 for this, this set. Uh, and you can certainly pick them up for around that $30 to $35 fairly easily. And um, the reason why this set is uh, is important to get is because it's uh, it has a lot of low mintage coins in it. And we'll talk about the mintages in a moment, but let's have a look at it first. So it has a little slip cover over the top of it. And, uh, and then we get into uh, where the actual coins are. Now, there's a few interesting facts about the uh, the coins included in this set. So, it's a seven coin set. So, this is 1985 is prior to the $2 coin being released back in 1988. So, the interesting thing about the $1 coin, and uh, it's got a bit of information there. So, this was the brand new effigy as of 1985 so the $84 coin has a different effigy and uh, this was the uh, the first of the uh, of this particular effigy and the interesting thing that I also found out was that this is the first set with a dollar coin in it now even though the dollar coin came out in 1984 the mint sets were already produced prior to the dollar coin becoming available. So that particular year, there was only the six coin set and then the 85 set introduced the $1 coin. So I wanna have a look at the mintages of each of these coins because this is where it gets interesting. So we'll just have a look at, uh, at the packaging there. There it is there, Royal Australian Mint and the opposite side there just showing the particular animals that are on each of the coins uh, with uh, their makeup and then we also have can we see that yes we can there is all the effigies there so as it says there that the head side is the obverse and then the tail side is the reverse if you're uh, ever confused about that the tail side is a reverse okay so yeah like i said there it's got all the pictures of the animals that are included on our standard circulating coins uh, with a little bit of information so certainly good from an international point of view is this set so i've got all the mintages up in front of me so I've got here, actually, let's talk about the mintage of this set. So 170,000 of these were produced. Okay. Now, let's have a look at the mintages. So on the on the one cent coin, the mintage on that one was 45.9 million. Okay, so that might seem fairly high. But being a one cent coin, that was actually considered fairly low. So a lot of the other numbers reach well up into the um, mid to low uh, 100 million mark. Um, and certainly a lot of them are far more than uh, 49, uh, sorry, 45 million. And probably the next sort of closest to that would be the uh, 1968, which is uh, around the 20 million, which is a very sought after one. And the 19. 80, oh no, there's different ones. Um, the 81, there was a, a different um, production. So the London minted one as well as the Australian minted one. So really the uh, 85 is a fairly low minted uh, coin. So then we've got the two cent coin and the two cent coin was 32.6 million, which is also a fairly low number as well for, uh, for these particular coins. Now, the 10 cent coin, or 5 cent coin, we're going to do the 5 cent coin. The 5 cent coin, the mintage on that is zero. Uh, now, when I say zero, it's only in the mint sets that you can find them. So you won't find these coins noodling. 
okay so that's one reason why this coin is a special coin and with 170,000 of these sets produced that means there's 170,000 of these individual coins so it's very low mintage you will find them occasionally in circulation but that's because people have broken up these sets and they've put them into circulation so the 1985 10 cent coin is also one that we like to find when we're noodling and that has a mintage of 2 million so that's a nice low mintage coin and it really only comes second to the 2011 two dollar coin sorry 10 cent coin uh, which is a similar mintage to the two dollar coin of the 2011 but around that 1.7 1.8 million so only slightly higher than that so it is a coin that is well and truly sought after uh, I do have a PCGS graded uh, 85 10 cent coin this one is graded MS 65 and I would have thought that this one would have come out of a mint set and uh, that's why it's been able to get a nice high grade on it and we'll talk about the value of these shortly so we'll move on the 20 cent coin is also another interesting one and another reason to grab this set so the mintage officially is 2.7 million now I don't know whether or not many of those actually found their way into circulation if we look at the numbers of say the 84 and the 83 coins which certainly the those kind of coins are very difficult to find in circulation if any at all and the word is is that all those coins even though they were minted they weren't put into circulation so high numbers but uh, you won't find an 84 looking through your change so i know that these guys have been found in circulation the 20 cent coin but they may have come from sets but i i couldn't confirm whether or not there is actually 2.7 million of them in circulation and i've gone through a lot of 20 cent coins and never found any of them so the 50 cent coin and we've spoken about the 50 cent coin many times on the channel uh, along with the uh, 1993 50 cent coin the 1985 has an equal mintage of just 1 million okay so it's a low mintage coin and well worth hanging on to and that's another reason to grab this set because it is a special coin and in high grade it's certainly worth uh, worth having now the one dollar coin we already know why it's special in this set but the mintage is not so special it's uh it's a high mintage coin obviously the uh the dollar coin was only introduced in 84 so they made 186 million million of them in 84 and then the following year they made another 96 million so they put plenty of these into circulation as they were as they were re removing the uh, one dollar note so the reason why I feel that these sets are very special and well worth grabbing and especially because they're only around that 30 to 35 dollar mark now I had a look at some of the figures on these coins on the sold figures of, of these coins and if you were to go and say buy a 10 cent coin and a 20 cent coin you would be spending a similar amount to what is the value of the actual set as it is a whole set now a lot of these sets now there was 170,000 of these produced but in order to get coins graded like this you're going to have to pull them out of the sets now it is far cheaper to go and buy a set than it is to go and buy the individual coin okay so it's a bit of a tip bit of a secret people don't necessarily want you to know that um, but well worth grabbing the sets and if you can afford to uh, break one up and 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 get them uh, graded it will cost you additional costs uh, to get them graded and I don't know exactly what those costs would be but uh, if you can get a nice high grade and I, I probably should have looked up the population report on this on uh, PCGS because it'd be interesting to see just how many of them are graded higher than this but uh, 
look well worth grabbing sets and certainly there is some value i would probably put probably put the value of this particular graded coin somewhere around the 40 to 50 dollar mark uh and i that's only based on what i've what i've seen and what i've seen uh lower graded ones sell for so i saw an ms65 that it sold for 30 dollars to be honest, I would have bought this really cheap, and I think that's the reason why I've got it today, because I would have paid like 10 to $15 for it. I look for bargains. But um, certainly, from the point of view of finding something like this or getting it graded, you will definitely need the set. So, um, yeah, you buy like one of the 50-cent coins or, or a 5-cent coin, which is only available in the sets, and get those graded, you are going to get a good return uh, for your dollars and certainly um, a nice set of coins that are, that are graded for your collection if that's the way you want to go about it. So certainly worth picking up more than one of these if you can at a reasonable price. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll have another video for you soon.